What to do y'all and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm very, very excited to bring you guys a two looks, one palette featuring the Odin's Eyes Christmas collection. Now in this collection, they're gonna have two palettes. This collection is already released, sold out, all of that, but I still wanted to bring you guys this video in the event that you were interested in picking this up when they restock or if you, like me, actually picked it up on its initial sale. So. I will of course be getting into the nitty gritty per usual, but in the event that you're interested in hearing information about the product, seeing some close-ups, seeing some swatches, seeing some tutorials, this is going to be a long one. Per usual, I will have the brand's website linked down below, as well as I will have timestamps down below. In the event that you wanna swap around, switch around, jump around, whatever you call it, just to get to a particular section. But with that said, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so like I said, there are two separate palettes. This is not a new configuration or layout for palettes for this brand. This brand has done, I believe offhand, two other palettes. And I will be, of course, showing you guys all of the palettes that I have from the brand. And I will be comparing them to see if the shade works and if there's any kind of dupes. So just stay tuned for the swatching portion of this video. But let's go ahead and dive into the products that I received when I got my palette package. One of the things that I want to talk about first is something I wasn't expecting. I actually got like two kind of keychain type items. You guys will be seeing them on the screen. I have absolutely no idea if these products are actually available for sale or if I just got them because I purchased a certain amount or even if I purchased it during a certain period of time and that's why I got them. I have absolutely no information on that. So definitely check out the screen. I will do my absolute best to tell you guys on screen if these are available or whatever have you. Then we have four different brushes. There are two face brushes and two eye brushes. Of course, you guys will be seeing these on screen as well. And the two eye brushes are very much, I would say, pretty much lid shadow brushes or very, very basic blending brushes. I wouldn't say you could really do a whole look. You could if you need to, but in my opinion, I prefer a couple different shapes of eye brushes. So these aren't favorites, but if we're being honest, I need more brushes just because I am always having dirty brushes because I just don't have the time to wash the brushes, wait for them to dry, and then also still keep up with my channel on the days that I can actually afford to film. So that's really the reason why I picked these up. And then we have the two face brushes. And once again, these shape-wise don't really fit something that I absolutely love, but I do appreciate the aesthetic of the brush. I do appreciate that they're synthetic and they seem decent quality so far. I believe these are my face I believe these are my first brushes from the brand, so we'll see how well they do long term in my collection because I do tend to keep my brushes, especially now that I really know the shapes and the styles and I can get use out of even styles and shapes that I don't particularly love just because I need more brushes. Once again, because I run out of brushes so often. So. Yeah, those are kind of all of the extra stuff that I picked up in this order. And then let's go ahead and go into the eyeshadow palettes. So like I said, I have bought both palettes and they are pretty much the same, but let's just dive into them. They're both cruelty free and they both have a, I believe that says 36. Yeah, a 36 month shelf life which is quite long. I feel like that's the longest I've seen on any of their palettes. And I do have quite a few of their palettes now. This has definitely become one of those brands that I really, really enjoy. So for the amount of product, there are 20 grams or 0 0.70 ounces. This is made in China and it is distributed through Sweden. So that's really cool. Um, and yeah, you guys will be seeing the B-roll of all of the products. And I definitely think that if you really enjoyed the Angelica Nyquist packaging, this is very reminiscent to that packaging or the Solmon 2. I remember the Solmon 2 having like a 
shimmery reflect type packaging going on and these both have that as well so i mean honestly that's kind of it for the deep dive of course you guys if you're interested in the price if you're interested in restock all of that information i would highly recommend you following the brand on their social media and like i said i will have the website down below for you guys to kind of deep dive in but with that said i think it is time for us to just go ahead and do the swatches i'm gonna do the swatches very similar to how i did my last group of swatches i'm gonna just speed them up put on some music in the background because i'm gonna be swatching both palettes so it's gonna take me some time and these palettes don't have um, very little product you know they definitely have a lot of shadows and a lot of product in there so with that said let's just go ahead and get into the swatches alrighty guys so it is actually quite early in the day but it is extremely overcast so I am using artificial lighting once again um, and I also have my room light on but I wanted to go ahead and start off I generally never mention these but Odin's eye did give us a little card in this collection and it basically says dear friends Merry Christmas and happy holidays we truly hope that our holiday limited edition products can bring you a different experience during the Christmas holidays and that you can use the Christmas eyeshadow palettes to create wonderfully dreamy winter makeup looks when you are ready to celebrate the Christmas season. Best wishes from Odin's Eye. And I think that's just really nice. I do believe this is their first kind of holiday-esque collection. So very intriguing that they added this little tidbit in. Now, as I'm sure you guys know, they actually have two different eyeshadow palettes in this collection. I did pick them both up and just by looking at them, I hope you guys can see the reflection that they are giving off of uh, my artificial lighting. You do have this kind of textured feel on both palettes. On the back, both palettes discuss their ingredients list, the amount of product within them, the lot number in case you care, the cruelty-free status, the amount of time that these palettes are good for, and then the barcode in case you care. Now, this is just the sleeve. I do tend to kind of keep the sleeves for a period of time. It just kind of depends, but let's take the sleeves off. Now, you see that they both have the same cover to the actual palette as they did to the sleeve but the backs are different on the backs you just have the names of the palette you do have the information about the product where it was distributed all of that and then once again the lot and the status cruelty free or otherwise so they still do give you the important the important parts the only things they really don't give you on the actual palette are the ingredients so definitely keep that in mind in the event that you need to know the ingredients or you're gifting it and you think the new owner needs to know the ingredients so let's dive into just looking overview of the actual palettes i was remiss in saying that there both of these palettes were actually shrink wrapped on the time that i received them i did take that off as soon as i received them and they both have mirrors at the top that are decorated in their respective kind of color palettes they both also have this like slip on top to protect the shadows in transit and I'll just take them off now that we're kind of really getting into the nitty gritty. So as you can see, one palette is clearly more warm tone, whereas the other is clearly more cool tone. I think they both have their own unique take on it, which is very, very interesting. And what I'm gonna do is just swatch each palette separately. I'm gonna swatch them very quickly. I'm gonna speed it up so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch me swatching them on in real time and then towards the end of this swatching portion what i will actually do is pull all of my palettes from this brand so that you guys can see if there's anything that's different unique dupes any of that so give me one second i'm going to rearrange my layout here and be prepared to swatch i'm going to go ahead and start off with the warm palette first and then i will go into the cool palette Thank you. 
you can definitely see that there's different textures presented in those shimmers and metallics the mattes all look nice um and yeah i think that's it for this palette i'm gonna clean off my arm and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing with the cooler tone palette and then we will get into the comparisons So as you can see, this is a beautiful, cool toned color scheme. It definitely focuses in on those blues. And as you can see, now that I've swatched both palettes, both palettes have their own uniqueness, but they both have their own multi-chromes. And this one it is definitely this baby right there. That one is beautiful. You guys see a completely different color, and I don't think the camera is really doing that particular shadow justice, which really, really disappointing. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my arm really quickly, pull out all of my palettes, and then we can get into the comparisons. So this is their Ud palette right here, and these are the two Christmas palettes, of course. In person, I think that these two look somewhat similar uh, and maybe this one thrown into the mix with that same shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it. I'm gonna swatch the Ud palette first, then this one, then this one. Just off feel, the Ud palette feels scratchier, whereas these two feel a lot more um, smooth and just nice and finish and velvety. So clearly there are different undertones, different shades. But yeah, those are the only ones that look similar in person let me look in camera yeah in camera i think that's it so we're going to go ahead and close this next we're going to do the hummingbird palette which is their collaboration with tina or the fancy face and in person i don't see anything that looks similar maybe these two bronzy shades the two greens okay let me chew those so i'm gonna do the fancy faces palette first in both of my swatches okay so as you can see there are definitely different textures presented here and they are definitely different shades. Fancy Face is a lot more metallic, less metallic than the Christmas palette. And in this one, this Christmas palette actually has a multi-chrome to it, whereas this one's just a straight up shimmer. So definitely different. And once again, the Christmas palette just feels more velvety and the older palette feels a lot less velvety. I mean, I don't really know how else to explain it. So very, very pretty shadows there, but I don't think that there's anything else that is similar. Then I also have their collaboration with Annette's Makeup Corner. And in this one, in person, I would say these two look similar, although I can definitely see a difference. Um... Maybe the two purples, even though I can see a difference. I think that's it. So let's get to swatching. I'm going to do a net first. Right, so in each duo, the Annette's Makeup Corner is first and the Odin's Eye is second. I will say these two are pretty much spot on, except once again, there's definitely a different formula going on here. This feels more velvety and smooth compared to this formula. And these two are very, very similar. I'm sure if you put it on your eye, depending on if your eye base is wet, this could actually turn into this. So those could definitely be dupes as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, I think that 
the others are clearly different and I'm looking in the camera and they look clearly different to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next one. So the next comparison I have is with the Solmon 2 palette, which has been my favorite palette to date uh, because it's just, it was so beautiful. The formula was just fantastic. Uh, and I will say in person, I really don't see a difference. These may look similar on camera, but they're not. Um, and camera, I don't, I think these two look similar. So let's just go ahead and knock those two blues out. All right, I stand corrected. I think these are very, very similar, if not dupes. And if I had to choose, I think I would actually pick the one from the Solman. This blue is just so much richer and sultrier. And this one, I think I just got a bad swatch. These just feel slightly more velvety than these mattes, which is super, super interesting. Um, so yeah, let's go to the next one. Next is the Norns palette. And I'm looking and I don't see anything. Oh, maybe these two, maybe this one and this one. Um, yeah, let me see in camera, maybe these two. Okay, so we found two again. So as you can see, I put the Norns on top and the co uh, Christmas collection on the bottom of each duo. This Christmas collection, you see these metallics are just insanely foiled, beautiful saturation, and they have some beautiful shifts in them as well. I don't see any dupes in it, but that's mainly because they're clearly different formulas and they definitely look like different shades as well. So definitely I would not say these are dupes. So next I wanna go ahead and talk about the collaboration between Angelica Nyquist and uh, Odin's Eye and comparing it between these two. I think this shade looks very similar to this shade. Um, these greens have a similar hue, but they can clearly, I can clearly see a difference in person. Let me see on camera. On camera, you guys can't really see. Uh, on camera, I would say it's just this one that looks similar. I don't think that this one looks similar to the other three, but I also don't have my glasses on and I'm looking at very small monitors. So I apologize if you think that they look similar, but I'm just gonna compare the two that I can clearly see are similar. So this is the holiday palette and this is the collaboration. And as you can see, there are definitely different hues of green there, so. But yeah, I think that's it. What I would say after swatching these now, this is the last portion of the video that I'm filming. So I did not have this knowledge when I did my outro. I would actually say that these are some of their best metallic formulations that they have come out with. I don't think all of the mattes are the best though. If I had to choose a palette that had the best matte formula from this brand, I would actually say that was the Solmon 2 palette, whereas this definitely has, both of these have the best metallic formula. So take that as you will. If you are more a metallic girl and don't really care about the mattes, go with that. That said, these mattes are fantastic, don't get me wrong, but they're not as velvety smooth um, and just easily pigmented as the Solmon 2. So that's all I got for you guys in this swatching and comparisons portion. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorials portion. Hey guys, so let's just dive on in, shall we? First, of course, I'm going to go ahead and use my About Face Eyeshadow Primer. You guys know this is one of my favorite primers, not only for every day, but also to test out products. So I'm just going to apply that all throughout my eyelid and we're good to go. Now for today's look, I'm actually gonna use the Merry Christmas palette because my lips came out so warm and also my shirt is more on that burgundy realm as well. And I just felt like might as well kind of stick with the theme that I've kind of already created. So here is the palette, very, very beautiful, very, very pretty. And I am gonna go ahead and use the two brushes that I picked up specifically with this palette because they did have a brush bundle. And then I'm also just gonna go ahead and use the 
brushes from blend money as well because they're right in front of me that way i can just kind of finalize my thoughts on those and kind of gain my thoughts on these they're not the best i'll be showing you guys b-roll on this stuff in the beginning like i always do so let's just go ahead and dive in like i said i already primed my eyes all right so with all of the brushes sanitized i'm gonna i'm gonna go in with the blend bunny b5 which is the biggest kind of blending brush that they have and for this one i am gonna go into <laughs> i'm gonna go into the shade matcha cookies which is like this greeny shade so i am gonna take that and just apply it in my crease and transition area okay so with that green really applied i think that looks like an interesting green a little bit more than a poopy kind of ugly green but it kind of is an ugly green nonetheless i kind of like it i kind of like it all right so now let's dive into the fluffier of the two brushes from odin's eye there are no numbers on these brushes so just the fluffier of the two and i'm gonna go into the shade hot Coco, which is this deep burgundy ish shade in the corner um i assume by the name there's going to be some form of brown to it but maybe not okay no it's looking like a straight up kind of deep burgundy so i'm just going to place this on the outer v area and blend it into that green in my crease just to kind of add some dimension i'm not sure what you guys saw i just looked up and my camera was out of focus but i'm really loving this combination i think it looks really really cool what i'm gonna do just to add a little bit more umph to it is i am gonna go into the blend bunny b2 which is a really really small uh pencil brush and i'm actually gonna go into the black which is called happy endings and i'm just gonna deepen this whole kit and caboodle up even more okay so as you can see i not only deepened up that area but i also kind of blended it over so it, you can't really see that it's a black even though you know it's a black so now i think it's time for some lid shades i don't know how many i'm going to use but i am going to use the more flat smaller of the two brushes from odin's eye and let's see there's so many beautiful shadows and per usual i have not touched the palette so i don't know how these are actually gonna really pull on my eyes. But I think I wanna go ahead and try Jingle Bells, this kind of greeny gold shade at the top. So I'm just gonna pick this up on this dry brush and see how it picks up. We'll see. Okay, so from my perspective, this is looking very, very lime green, and it's also not looking super opaque. I'm sure it's because of the brush. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take my finger and just kind of go over it. Yep. So if you're somebody who wants opacity from these lid shadows, I would strongly suggest wetting your brush, using your finger, or using some form of glitter glue. I don't mind using my finger, hence why I just did it, but I know some people do mind. Now, I would love to kind of blend these two together just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is just go back into that burgundy brush and just kind of try to blend that crease work just a little bit so that it's not just so stark and i think that's better so i think i'm gonna go with that now inner corner wise i'm gonna use another one of my pencil brushes from blim bunny this time it's the b3 and for this one i think i'm gonna go into the shadow little star which is kind of a shimmery burgundy with some gold in there as well and just put that right in my inner corner okay i think that looks interesting 
let me take some time i'm gonna hop off camera i'm gonna add my liner mascara lashes i'm also gonna do this eye of course and then i'll come back to show you guys the finished look Alrighty, guys so this is the finished look So this is the first finished look. If you're wondering the lashes that I decided to use, I'm using the Virtues from the Saint range from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And yeah, everything else that is on my face will be listed down below for you all. If you're interested in knowing all the other things that are on my face, just check out down below. I will go ahead and list them down there for you. I will be doing one other look in this particular video. And like I've said a couple other times, I will be doing another video later on either this month or next month featuring the both palettes respectively in their own video featuring two more looks. So you will get more looks from me, but this is just a way to give you guys a taste of my opinions on these particular palettes. And then I can dive into some others that are more timely. And then later on, I can give you guys a lot of looks. So hopefully this is okay with you guys, but either way, let's get into look number two. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys my second look for this two looks, two palette video. I do just want to go ahead and apologize. I somehow lost the audio for this last portion of the video. And just because I know it's not the best audio, I figured I am just going to skip around, showcase the actual shadow that I put on my eye, showcase how I got there. But it's going to have just music in the background of this. I will bring back the only audio that I currently have once we get to the conclusion of the video. Once again, I'm really, really sorry. I have absolutely no idea what happened. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the video. Like I said, I did use that gray shadow that you just saw me point to. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. We're not going to talk about lash application because they were both giving me a rough time today. But what we will definitely talk about are these palettes first. I definitely think that these are the same quality, if not even slightly better, specifically with the foiled glittery shimmery shadows than I have seen in other palettes with this particular with this particular layout. So I'm very, very happy with that. And I am very excited to do more tutorials with each palette. Like I said, a little bit in the middle of this video, I will be doing at least two more additional looks with each palette. I think I'm gonna aim to get those up during Vlogmas or something, but right now I just don't have the time and I wanna showcase some of the newer stuff, talk about older stuff in between. So I wanted to just give you guys something on these products in the event that you wanted to get them before the restock, because I'm sure they will restock at some point this year. As for the brushes, honestly, I forgot to use the two face brushes again today and they're just they're not the best shape wise they're okay I think this could be a decent blush or bronzer brush for me and this I guess I could use as blush but in the grand scheme of things these were just pickups because I happened to be on the website I was excited did I did I did also I know I always am out of brushes because I can never find the time to wash my brushes so that was the main reason for this um, by the time this video is up I'm sure I will have used these brushes and I will have it across the screen all of them I think I'm gonna say exactly the same they're decent they're nice not must-haves as for the keychains like I said today I still don't know how or why I got them I'm not really enthused by them it was really just the palettes that I really cared about 
so yeah I would definitely right now recommend the palettes I definitely think they are a one quality and I really really like the looks that I was able to create in these past two days I hope that all of the information I provided in this video the swatches the tutorials the product reviews all of that is helpful and with that said I will see you guys in my next video which I'm sure is going to be very very soon and don't forget to check out down below in the description box I have all the information you probably are going to ask alrighty guys bye